Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to World Blitz Championship. Magnus is late for his game and apparently got stuck in traffic, but here he comes. We've got E4 on the board. Magnus goes with the French. We've got E6 on the board. And uh, his opponent thinking, you get uh, D4, we get D5. It takes, takes, and uh, a knight developing. Magnus develops uh, the bishop. And now what is going to happen? So here, this is the advanced variation. We get uh, uh, c4 and Magnus develops the knight. So preparing uh, to castle, ladies and gentlemen. While white still need to develop the bishop. And then only can they castle. So as you can see on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. Magnus only has 35 seconds on the clock. Vladislav is... Uh, He's got two minutes more than Magnus, so quite a difficult position. And uh, from the report as well, he didn't want to start the clock uh, when Magnus was late. Uh, so it just shows some good sportsmanship. Um, so in the position he's thinking, uh, Magnus also just using his opponent's time. Uh, we get a knight developing castles. And uh, we can see the best move in the position. We just turn on the engine very quickly. Is C takes on D5, ladies and gentlemen. Well, you find it. Uh, let's see. And you can see Magnus just looking around what's happening. Clearly, he's got too much time on the clock. Uh, if he's still uh, smiling and uh, looking around in terms of what's happening. So... Both players are high rated, uh, uh, super GMs, so we got takes, uh, Magnus gives a check, and uh, knight going in, we get castles, uh, h6 from Magnus, and now what to do in the position, so he is temporarily down a, a pawn, uh, with a pawn capture, got uh, a rook going in, and now the knight going back to uh, win the pawn so Magnus taking his time to win the pawn uh, something we can all learn you don't always need to take it back immediately in the position we got knight to e5 and Magnus recaptures his um, pawn so the bishop going in so there is now a 2-1-2 two on, two on the knight and uh, Best move in the position is to capture the knight. Uh, but let's see what uh, Vladislav does. He adds an attacker to uh, the knight, ladies and gentlemen. So we can see there's a three on two. So what's Magnus going to do? He's got uh, less than 20 seconds on the clock. Um, but he brings out the queen. So some tension between the queens. We get a uh, knight takes... Uh, uh, Magnus recaptures with a knight. Uh, so this is st still winning for Magnus. We got takes and takes. Queens coming off the board. And you can see both players have three pawn islands. So weaknesses which can be exploited. In the game we can see uh, the bishop going out just to uh, continue with developing. And then we get uh, Magnus kicking away the knight. Knight drops back to d3 and Magnus trades off a pair of rooks so Magnus does have more time on the clock ladies and gentlemen you can see um, he now brings in the rook uh, Vladislav defends and we get Magnus going after the knight the knight drops back Magnus activating the king we get uh, a couple of moves happening so Magnus going after uh, some central play this is a blunder but in the game we got takes and takes and uh, Magnus now expanding on the king side ladies and gentlemen so 15 minutes against 4 seconds so what to do uh, we get a pawn push uh, best move here is just to take uh, what will it do yes we get takes and takes and uh, activating the king knight going in king going in and uh, moving the bishop out of the way so you got four seconds against 13 seconds you get the king moving 
a rook going in and Magnus just bringing back so we've got the king moving rook going to the side and moving the king just uh, wasting some time in essence ladies and gentlemen so Magnus pushes the rook to the corner of the board quite a uh, he declines the rook trade and then he continues pushing so again some king moves uh, Magnus pushing the pawn uh, ladies and gentlemen we can see and now kings going in we get a check a king running and what to do is what seven seconds on the clock a bishop going in to solidify you get uh, the rook coming all the way back and then the king moving again the rook going in after the knight so we get takes and takes this is a blunder but then we get uh, a rook coming in to e3 ladies and gentlemen so both players are going to uh, magnus first throws in a check uh, we then get takes takes and takes so we can see the players uh, haven't gone to this end game and uh, this is winning for black and uh, ladies and gentlemen best move in the position is just to go after the pawn what will he do he gives a check magnus runs and collects we've got this uh, trade of pawns um, and see the pawns pushing so uh, it was in this position in which Magnus won the game after Vladislav resigned so guys hope you enjoyed see you guys in the next one